Well, it's Valentine's Day, and you know what that means. It's the time for romance and love. But I don't have either of those, so I'm going to do the next best thing and talk about shipping. Yay! Uh, <laughs> in all seriousness, I wanted to do a Valentine's Day episode, but uh, I didn't know how to do that without bringing up shipping, which is like sort of like love, I guess. I mean, everyone's done it. You know, even if you don't have anything to look forward for for Valentine's Day, there's always going to be shipping in your life. Am I right? With any form of like, you know, medium or entertainment, you're bound to like ship some characters. So I thought it would be great for Valentine's Day to uh, draw ships that I genuinely like or I genuinely actually do ship. So to be like a little bit unbiased, I made a wheels, uh, you know, that just has a bunch of different shows, books and stuff that I, that I really like. Um, and so I'll just like spin the wheel and I'll just generate one of those random shows. And I'm going to draw my favorite ship or like OTP or whatever from that show. Um, I just basically just going to make some quick fan art. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. So let's just kind of go into it. So yeah, let's spin that wheel. It looks like we are going to do Percy Jackson first. Wow. That's okay. I, I don't, yeah, Percy Jackson. I, I don't really like Percy Jackson. All right. So, because I know the, like, Disney Plus show came out semi-recently, but I'm a huge fan of the books, so I think I'm going to be basing it off more, like, more off the books, because that's, like, what I'm a little bit more familiar with, and so I think I have to admit, I'm, it, it might be basic, but I do like Percy and Annabeth. It's kind of classic. Persebeth is like a really solid ship, you know, it has it has like a lot of chemistry and that, you know, it, it, there's just a lot going for it. So I really do love that ship a lot. So since it's going to be fan art, I think I'm going to try to recreate the cover for the House of Hades books in uh, the, the Heroes of Olympus series. Like the, it's kind of like the sequel series to, to Percy Jackson. Uh, yeah, if, if any of you guys remember the, uh, like the original cover, because I think, I think they changed the cover a few times, but like the original one I thought was so, I honestly thought it was like really cool because it was like this back shot of, of Percy and Annabeth, like literally like trudging through, spoilers, uh, they trudged through Tartarus after being sent there. And it, it was like a really like badass cover, I remember. Um, and I'm going to try to recreate it because I, I think it's like a really cool cover. And it like really kind of shows, I, I guess not their relationship, but it shows through like their bond and how much they trust each other and how much like they're really relying on each other to go through this entire journey together. But yeah, I'm going to try to do this cover from memory, mostly because I don't know, I, I thought it would just be fun. Since I'm gonna try to do a few of these, I'm just gonna try to ke like keep quick, rough sketches, um, just so you know I can get more, a little bit more her art for you guys, and you know to show off kind of like more, more ships. God, this was such a. I don't know if this was a good idea to be completely fair. Uh, maybe I will do a render of this. I'm not, not that I'm like not feeling it, but it might be easier to draw and render a little bit if i'm not gonna lie to you guys either it has been a bit since i recorded anything yeah it, it just might be worse for wear okay you know what i might do i might just completely scrap that and just start over uh i guess i'll just talk briefly i guess about the ship a little bit more just because uh some some of you guys might not even know Percy Jackson or maybe that I'm even a fan of Percy Jackson like the series but yeah I, I used to read the books all the time when I was younger and I really loved it a lot it was like a fantastic world where Greek myths are like very much alive and kind of like rampant in modern day where there are like kids who are like demigods which is basically just half god half half mortal and they get sent to do ancient quests and whatever that are basically like the same quests that were in, you know, in a normal Greek myths. And like the main character is Percy. 
So it kind of follows him in the like his original book series, which is like uh, just like the Percy Jackson series. It starts with the Lightning Thief. So uh, if you want to start, it's just literally Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Uh, very good. It's a very good series. Uh, and then it had its own, uh, not like spinoff, but like a basically sequel series, I would say, called Heroes of Olympus, where they kind of then expand onto like Roman myths, which is really interesting because Greek and Roman myths often, you know, well, it's more like like Roman myths like take a lot from Greek myths to or like, yeah, that whole that whole scenario. But yeah, they, they they like do something really interesting with combining both both myths or both like mythologies within the same universe. But yeah, so I, I like truly recommend the the series for anyone who hasn't read it yet. It's really good. Oh man, it, it has been a while since I oh, such a drew anything from memory like this and I'm totally bombing oh man I think okay you know what I think I'm gonna leave this here I'm gonna pull up what it actually looks like so I can have a you know more of a side-by-side -side comparison okay so yep I pulled it up way later and I was kind of right like I was right and they were leaning into each other and I guess I remember that she had a ponytail but I don't yeah I don't think I remembered anything else about the cover I thought that they were wearing their Camp Half-Blood shirts in this image, but I guess not. So, yeah, I'll probably render this one later to kind of, like, match closer. We're going to go into our next wheel spin. That first one was kind of rough, but hopefully my second wheel spin, I'll, I'll get, like, a good, a good decent pick. So, yeah, let's, let's go see it. Uh, spin. Okay. So it lands on Mario. Okay, a Mario ship. That's that's doable. All right. Mario. Oh God. I I had a thought in my in my head. So I think I'm just gonna go roll with it. Uh, because honestly, like Mario ships are like whatever. They're like. No, they're okay, decent relationship-wise, you know, uh, it's obvious, like, who gets paired with who, or who Nintendo wants you to pair with. In reality, I think the best ship for Mario is, uh, I don't know how many of you have seen the infamous uh, Mario kissing gif. If you know what that is, that's the super great for you um no well uh it, it's it's a uh really some would say poorly made but i think it's a beautifully made gif of uh mario and sonic kissing passionately uh and i think it has take on me playing in the background so i'm also gonna try to recreate i think like a single frame from that gif i think it was like not like I wouldn't say crudely made, but it was very in a very more like crude art style, I'd say. It was felt with such passion and love, you could tell though, but I don't think it was as like clean as I'm trying to make it, I guess. This is so bad. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Oh no, but I genuinely do ship it. <laughs> oh no. God. I can only truly make art when <laughs> When it's something as bad as this and not like actual fan art from Percy Jackson. So that, that was really quick. I, I guess I guess I really felt it in my soul that uh, I guess I really ship Mario and Sonic. I think I, I think that's just what it turns out to be that deep in my heart. It's my it, it's truly, truly my favorite ship. I guess I could also put up the gif right here Uh since, you know, I did show off the Percy Jackson cover, I might as well show the gif that this is inspired from. It's great. It'll, it'll change your life, basically. <laughs> okay, and then we should go to our last wheel spin. Uh, I think I'm only going to be doing three, so this is going to be the last one. So let's see what we get, okay? Let's go. Oh, uh, I think it's going to be... Oh, okay, it ticked over. Po oh, man. I can't, I can't ever escape you, Pokemon, huh? Okay, Pokemon. Who do I ship in Pokemon? I don't think I ship any like Pokemon together. I don't think that's, I don't think that's a right. Um, but I like the anime. Oh, the yeah, obviously it's gotta be Team Rocket, right? They're they're absolute menaces, but I I God I love them. They're great. Um, 
Oh God, should I do one of their Team Rocket poses? I want to do all of this from memory. I want this to be really quick. I got, I think I should just render all of these now that I'm, I'm really like looking at what I'm doing. This is, oh God, I need to render these just cause it, it, it's been a struggle trying to remember how to draw. Uh, cause I haven't had the chance in a while, but yeah, I think I might, I mean, I need to take the time to render these. So God, this probably might not even come out on Valentine's day just cause I'm so indecisive on, on it just cause I want it to look good. God, I don't realize how anyone looks like anymore. I'm so bad at this. I'll, I'll figure out how to do this properly. I'll figure it out later. I should really repractice how to, how to draw. This is, this is honestly kind of embarrassing a little but yeah uh these are like some of my favorite ships i'm probably gonna pull up all the renders for each of them uh either as like they as like their segment ends or i'll just put them all up now um actually yeah i'm just gonna put them all up right now because uh, now that i said that it'll be easier to remember so uh remember how bad i did well uh with a little bit of time and uh a little bit of love a eh, valentine's day uh, I got those very bad ship drawings into slightly better ship drawings. So, uh, love wins. <laughs> um, I wanted to get I want to get this out for Valentine's Day, but like I said, uh, I wanted to do the renders because I felt so bad that I couldn't I couldn't do very good ship drawings. So, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. So, yeah, it might come out oh at least hopefully a couple of days after Valentine's Day, a week at most. But we're gonna see. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have or have had a good Valentine's Day. Uh, and if you haven't, well, like I said earlier, there's always shipping. So yeah, that's it for me. Okay, bye.